pure fun and enjoyment. We had the greatest time going out there and competing against one another and just hanging out. You know, that's one of the neat things I, I remember about it. I enjoy practicing in the evening um, because it brings me back to those childhood memories that were just so incredible. You know, my dad used to get off work at 4.12 <laughs> and then drive over to uh, the, the Navy base, we'd show up and go out there and practice. And sometimes at, uh, when I was too young, I wasn't allowed to play on the golf course. My mom would drop me off at uh, the beginning of the clubhouse, the beginning of the, the golf course in the parking lot. I'd walk, hop into this big ditch and walk the ditch and meet my dad up on the third tee. And so I get up on the third tee and my dad would meet me there in the cart and we'd go play. And um, that's neat because I, re I remember going out there and just having just the greatest time with my dad. And um, the bonding experience that we, we had because of those moments is one of the reasons why we became so close um, over the years. A lot of the guys who set the records actually, well one of them being Bob May. Bob May was a kid from SoCal, ended up going to Oklahoma State, but he set all the records in, in junior golf in SoCal. There were a couple rivals who were my age or maybe just a little bit older, you know, I had to try and beat along the way, uh, which was good and um, it was good fun. It would probably have to be my first junior. At the time, it was the biggest thing that I ever, ever won, you know, and I was down in the match, ended up taking the lead, making it a double on the last hole or triple whatever I made at Bay Hill, and then ended up winning it in extra holes against Brad, so it was, it was a cool one, yeah. Right now, I'm standing at 71 tour events and 14 majors, so I don't feel like I'm done with that. I feel like I'm, I'm still in my prime years. You know, over the next 10 years, you know, I'll be, what, 46 by then? We've seen a lot of, a lot of bloomers, late bloomers, the guys who can play well into their 40s and even sometimes early 50s because of you know, training and keeping themselves in, in shape, and I feel like I'm in you know, pretty decent shape, and I feel like I can, I can maintain that type of physicality for a long period of time.